Hello, YouTube. How are we doing today? What's going on, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to the Wednesday Night Spawnicus Rex Expert Days Gone Gameplay Series and stuff or something, I guess. How the hell are you, folks? James, Jeremy, Sean. What's going on, guys? Good to see y'all here tonight. <laughs> so, James, yeah, what is this Days Gone game that I've been hearing so much about? Well, let me show you. I don't know about y'all, but my favorite part is when I when I go to the starting soon screen and the Days Gone music cues up. That's my favorite part. All right, here we are. So I think this should be our most recent save. Uh, yeah, that's I believe that's us. I remember facing the camera when we shut it down. 11-2, so it was about a week ago at 10 p.m. Yeah, man, that's us. Do it. So guess what, man? Right now, I am wearing my very first Sponicus Rex t-shirt. Uh, I went ahead and ordered one for myself. Actually, I think Claire bought this one for me. Uh, and uh, by my request, special request. Uh, and it just came in today. And it's fucking awesome. And I love it. And I'm going to wear it like until I pretty much wear it the fuck out, actually. That's my intent. Looks kind of good on me, too. Claire assures me I don't look stupid, so. <laughs> That's all I have to go by. All right, uh, let's take a look. I actually don't know exactly where we're at or what we're doing. Uh, okay, so it looks like we've pretty much cleared uh, Tucker's camp. She may have a camp job for us later on. Um... Uh, Copeland may have a camp job for us later on. Looks like we have one camp job at Lost Lake. So that will be a good opportunity to gain some trust with Lost Lake. Uh, we are trying to get to where we at right now. I think we're already at level two at Lost Lake. Correct. We have reached level two, uh, but we have made virtually no progress toward level three. So I'm not super concerned about that right now. Uh, it's a... It's, uh, mm, it's a long distance game on that one. You know, it's a long distance marathon. We're not in a hurry to get there. We're going to take our time and get there steady. Uh, but we also have a, ah, uh, we have a, one of the Nero tracking missions. So we do have a main story mission and we have a camp job. <clears throat> and we're already level two here. So we've got pretty much the best bike upgrades that we can get for now. Oh, motherfucker, Sean. Yeah, dude. Uh, okay. Sorry to hear about that, man. Was found dead tonight. Jeez. Well, now I'm curious, man. How, how much are you willing to share about that? Dang, dog. Cops actually suspect murder. Holy shit, dude. Wow. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> CJ Voorhees, you came in at just the right time, I guess. Um, damn, dog. Sorry, Sean. All right, so we're right here at this camp job. We can pick up this camp job right here, so let's go ahead and do that. Hey, Deke, Ricky. A group of men rode in, shot up the gate, and when we wouldn't let them in, they rode off. Ah, shit. Which direction? Uh, they headed west, but they didn't go far. They set up camp just north of Eden Hill. I think they might be planning another attack, so I need you to take a look. <sighs> okay, right. I think yeah, they might be planning it. another Thanks, attack. Steve. Now, what type of intel do you have that would suggest they might be planning another attack? Is that perhaps a uh, suggestion, a little buzz that uh, Schizo put in your ear, maybe? Interesting. All right. Let's go do this camp job. And then maybe while we're out, we'll do that story mission as well. We should be pretty much topped up on everything. Please show me how much ammo I actually have. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Looks like we're good on ammo and stuff. All right. And while we're getting started here, I see the numbers have come up a little bit. So we've got a few new people have joined us to watch for the evening. Pop in and say hi, everybody. I'll give you a little shout out. 
And also, uh, let's see, make sure that you do hit like on the video. I know sometimes I forget. I'll be watching one of Claire's streams or something, and I'll straight just forget to hit like until I've already been in the video for a minute. So make sure that you hit like, and also make sure that you select live chat. Because everybody knows hey, that there. nobody I'm, uh, wants I'm going to be gone for a while. I'm going to need you chat. to cover for me. Skiz is going to wonder why I'm not out on Marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey, Deke. What's up? Boozer's, uh, hell, I don't know, he's, he's depressed or something, talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, and bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. Let's figure something out. Are, are you going to So be honest, how many of you legged it all the way up to out. O'Leary Mountain when you got this mission? I think I, I know I hear a breaker there. Did I hear a, hear a bear too? And Tucker's got a mission for us. Tuck, hey, okay. I'll see if I can make time peeking out. Wonder how many of these assholes that breaker's going to take out for us. Okay, I'm getting dizzy. I got to park somewhere. <laughs> Get a little distance. Any other assholes running around? No? Okay, cool. Oh, yep, we got wolves. I hear wolves growling. Maybe we can get the breaker to deal with them, too. <laughs> okay, well, there's that one. There's... Oh, shit. Uh, that happened a bit more suddenly than I expected. Perhaps we should get the fuck out of here now. <laughs> now, there should be more wolves, right? No wolves? All right. Let's do this. I'm here. Oh, that is not a fucking smoke bomb, Deacon. Fuck nuts. All right, let's go. Okay, well, so a little pro tip here. Enemies on fire take increased damage. So, you pop them with a Molotov, it will now be taking increased damage. Come on. Somebody else want in on this? Help a brother out. Yeah, I got. Oh, is that a. It's not a horde, is it? No, I think it's just a bunch of assholes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's more like it. How you doing, brother? Same as always. Still out there chasing choppers. Yeah. Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems to take heroes out here. They're running field missions, studying the streets. No idea. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by and said I'd be shoveling shit all day. The Molotov also stuns him a bit at first. Got your bitch ass. Come here. More bounties. I'm guessing you want some too? Well, all right then. Don't get up. Tried to tell you. <laughs> Anyways, let me catch up with the chat. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Um. Okay, you'll share more when you get more info. Understood. And hey, yeah, man, you know, we're we're not trying to pry or anything. That's pretty heavy shit, though. We're just, you know, I'm curious what's going on, man. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, you're well. No, I will have my revenge. Oh shit. Okay. Tom Moose is with us. Ahoy, hoy. What's going on, bud? And old oh, lady D Geek. Hello, ma'am. 
I rode. Oh, okay. So we're talking about the mission where Deacon goes to get Boozer's bike. Okay. So I rode the first time. But when getting on Boozer's bike, thought, oh, shit, I'm going to have to walk all the way back up here to get my own bike. Boy, was I glad when Ricky told me it was here. <laughs> right on. Yeah, I know a lot of people, they just assume that, well, shit, you're, if you're going to pick up a bike, you're not going to be able to ride your bike. So I have to walk to or from the location. And uh, <clears throat> so, I, I mean, that makes sense. But I was like, surely the game has some method for how they're going to handle this. I'm curious to see how they're going to handle this. So I just drove up there to, you know, well, fuck it. Let's see what happens, you know? And yep, the game had a way to handle it. CJ Voorhees says, always wished you could drive boozers back. Uh, that would be cool, actually. Yeah, just because. Shit, yeah. Uh, James says, honestly, I would have preferred if they forced you to walk all the way to O'Leary Mountain. You would have preferred that. Okay. And let's see, Tom says, uh, walk to O'Leary on your first three playthroughs. Now, on per I guess on the second and third playthrough, you knew what was coming and just decided to do that? Okay. I uh, wish they made you walk. They needed more missions where you have to travel without your bike. I, I, I can agree with the sentiment, but... You know, having listened to the Jeff Ross interview on the Days Gone podcast, you really get why the bike is such a big deal to the world that you're in. It's not it's not just a tool. It's also your best friend and your most useful resource uh, in the game. You know, I mean, yes, if you like that live in the world, struggle a little bit kind of feel for your gameplay, then yeah, sure, you know, and uh, enforce whatever handicaps sound fun to you. Handicap yourself without using the bike or handicap yourself without getting, uh, you know, good guns and stuff like that, you know. Whatever sounds fun, go for it. But uh, I, I get why the bike is such a big part of the game, and I... I Really, I like it. I I think Days Gone one of the one of the many things that they nailed uh, in the making of this game is yeah, oh, it, all of it, <laughs> fucking all of it. Always need that. I did use a stamina cocktail, so we should refill that. There we go. Yep, the mount is one of the things that they nailed in this game. I think Days Gone has the best mount any game I've ever played. Any game that has some sort of conveyance that the character can use to get around in the game world, Days Gone has the best one. Uh, aside from maybe... Uh, okay, so Runners Up would have to be the hang glider in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Okay, so it's not raiders here. It's just freaks. Okay, yeah, I'll fuck them. If it was raiders, I was going to take them out and see if they had a hostage to rescue, but it's just freaks. Uh, yeah, maybe the hang glider from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and uh, the, the fucking bird that you get in Horizon Forbidden West. That was cool. See if we can get some elevation on these guys. So there they are. Couple of them there. I wonder. Yeah, we might be able to get a couple of them from up here. Maybe. What do you think? Okay, Ricky, I'm <laughs> Hell, yeah. Drifters still here. Headshot. Well, I guess we'll know soon you think you can handle out. it, ma'am? Did you see that headshot we just pulled off? Are you fucking kidding me? Did you forget who you hired for this job? Really? All right. What else we got? to see lights down here. We'll have a clear shot on them, though. Nope, they're on the move. Let's make sure we're in concealment. Ah, 
They're going to pull freaks down on them. Nice. You guys do that. Hey, Psycho Ghost Rider is with us. What's up, man? And also, Joe Schmo and Dub Rider 97. What's going on, Dub Rider? Joe, hello and welcome, sir. Late due to shower. <laughs> How we doing tonight? I'm pretty good. Uh, letting freakers do most of the work for us whenever possible. How many you got left? There's the last two right there. Only one freak left. Oh, okay. We'll have to deal with these guys ourselves. Back to concealment. Damn. I lost line of sight on them. Oh, okay. I lost line of sight on them. Let's go ahead and push up. Ah. Well, I think they're going to be this way. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. I thought you just swing by, shoot up the place. Nah, I just think it's time you move along. Ah. Uh. Let's see what this freak does. Not enough. Is that it? No. Oh shit! One more. Okay. There we go. Nice and clean. All right. Let me catch up with the chat real quick. Yeah. Yo. Okay. Let's see. Tom, no, I, I wasn't aware. I'm I'm just an idiot. <laughs> we all have our moments, bud. Uh, okay, CJ says, by the way, Rex, have you ever found the brawl with those three guys messing with Sarah's truck kind of awkwardly done? Uh, I mean, I think really they're just trying to build the scene and tell us a little bit about the kind of person that Deacon is and the kind of person that Sarah is. I find it very interesting that Though Sarah is, you know, kind of a good girl. I mean, she's she's a bit edgy. You know, she's got tattoos and she hangs out with bikers and shit. Uh, but you know, she's she's a smart kid. She's a sweet kid. Uh, but she does not fucking hesitate to go for Deacon's gun when there's trouble. She doesn't know how to use it. She's you know she doesn't know what she's doing with it. But she does not fucking hesitate to do something. So I, I think that it, I think that scene is really set up just to tell us a little bit about Deacon's character and to tell us a little bit about Sarah's character and the type of, the type of people that they are. I think that was pretty much the main purpose of that. <clears throat> oh, Sean, when you did this mission, they pulled a horde down on you. Yeah, <laughs> on them. Yeah. Uh, and it would probably be cool to lead a horde in there on purpose, but I generally, um, I generally kill the hordes pretty much as soon as they pop. So <laughs> by the time I get to this camp job here, I, I don't have any hordes left. Hang on one sec. I got to, I need to plug in my iPad. <clears throat> 
It's all good, though. I've got a charging cable right here. There we go. All right, we are charging. Uh, and let's see. I don't want to miss any more of the chat. Oh, Dub Rider, you are working and watching at the same time. Okay. Working and listening, yeah. Working and lurking. Lurking and working. That's cool. Uh, let's see. CJ says, kind of feel like the cutscene uh, turning into gameplay, only to go right back to a cutscene was an odd choice. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, I, I've always... I kind of dislike it when games do that thing where you're in a cutscene, you have no control over what's happening. It's totally passive. It's just a cutscene. And then it cuts to you are now in control of the character and you're supposed to be doing stuff. And you're like, okay, could you could maybe give me some sort of cue that now I'm in control of the character and, and am expected to start doing stuff. I would have been nice to have known that, you know, when it happened. Uh, and, you know, instead of just standing there and dying and trying to figure out that I was supposed to be moving around and shit. So that does bug me when games do stuff like that. Okay. Time to radio in and let Ricky know. Deacon, how'd it go? It's done. They won't be shooting up any more camps. Oof. Thank God. <laughs> no, they will not. Mike know. You know, keep this up and you and Mike are going to be best friends before you know it. Bye. Who says we're not? I mean, we're not, but who says we're not? What? Struck down those boys, shot up the gate, and took off. Hey, Mike, yeah, uh, I found them, and they won't be coming back. Seem like it's getting worse. <laughs> the amount of squatters and drifters we got coming through? No offense to present company. None taken. Uh, and yeah, Mike, it's getting worse. I don't know. Mike, I think it's like you were saying about tourists always coming up here from California. Well, I guess if I had the choice, yeah, I'd rather be here than down there. So, see you, Deke. Iron Mike out. Dandy Denny 07. Hello, ma'am. Oh, hey, guys. Holy shit. The freaks do come out at night, don't they? So, if you're running, if you're actively sprinting when you activate the bike to get on it, he will actually do a pretty fast mount. Uh, it basically removes a few he <clears throat> removes a few scenes of the animation, making him get on the bike that much faster. It's not a big difference, but it does help a bit. Hey, we got a job for you. Oh yeah. Ricky. Oh, that's right. Hey, Tucker uh, had a job for okay. me, too. I forgot yeah, about that. In, Actually, we may go ahead and do the camp jobs that are available before we try to push forward in the story. Let me see. How am I doing on gear? Do I need... I only have one of these. But, yeah, we're pretty good on gear. I think we could really just kind of start chasing down camp jobs. Uh, not enough fuel. Okay, we can fix that. <clears throat> Fuel. 
There we go. All right. Here we go. Well, let's see. Claire's podcast inspired me to do my first character study. And it's on Schizo and the Rippers. Okay. Uh, connecting the dots to his motives of why he did what he did. There's actually a lot to note. Indeed, there is. There really is. And that's one of the things about this game. It's like, the more you look, I don't know, man. There's a lot more here than I expected. On my first playthrough, I was blown away. Mostly just because I did not expect the story to be so deep. Uh, I was expecting action and, you know, action adventure and all that fun shit. I didn't know I was also in for a good story. Like the moment where Deacon turns Ricky down in the infirmary, I knew right then, holy shit, this story is going to be way fucking deeper than I thought. I know him. Let him in. Okay, we're out of gas. <laughs> That's okay. It got me back to camp, so we're good. Ah, shit. Now my controller battery is low. God damn, boy. Get your shit charged up, son. All right, hang on a sec. That's all good. I have a charger for my controller right here as well. And come here, you little fucker. There we go. All right, now it's charging. Okay. And... Just got finished. Penises. God damn it. Boy, I'll tell you what. You might get something. Might get something right every now and then if you'd quit fucking up all the time. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, Dandy Danny, it's it's fucking blown away by how deep the story was. Was not expecting that. Oh hey, we need to say hello to Captain Caffeine. What's up, Cap? How are you, bud? Good storyline and character arc. Screw that. People just want to kill freaks. <laughs> Stuff's getting scarce. I got you covered. It's one of my favorite things to do. All right. Now, we're already level three here, so I can purchase uh, med kits from these guys. Hang on. I want to top off my saddlebag, too, though. Hey, a deacon, right? How's it going, Zanny? Yoink. To see you, Deacon. What do you need? Hey, Alka, just see him what you got. Yeah, I can upgrade that. Good choice. There we go. Find me if you need anything. All else. right, and we are at the point now where using the saddlebags is the most economical way to refill your ammo because take a look at the ammo capacity on the auto shotgun. That's God damn, 128 plus 16 rounds to refill that at the shop. That's pretty expensive. The SMP9 is 200 rounds, and then you know 15 rounds of sniper rifle ammo. If you're if you've used a fair amount of your ammo, you, you really else? might as well just use the uh, saddlebags. Not only is it less expensive generally, but it's also just Geek. fucking We've faster. A problem on our hands. You remember Richard? Oh, Boston? God, Cap, I saw that post. Yeah, I saw right. that. And for me, man, that's yeah. one of those. I, I saw your comment as well. I thought that was very well stated on your part. Um, I just, that's one of those things, man. I get so tired of seeing that stupid shit. It's like, look, man, I just downvote it and keep scrolling. Downvote it so it'll get buried and keep scrolling. I'll take care of them. Thanks, Deke. I knew I could count on you. If I wasted, if I wasted the energy of engaging with all the assholes we bump into daily on the internet, I just wouldn't have any time for anything else. So I just completely disregard those, completely disregard shit like that. I downvote it and keep scrolling. Deacon, how's the bike business? I have going much to? better things to do with my time than worry about what some dumbass on the internet thinks. My time is more valuable to me. Than it is to them, apparently. Get moving. You got work to do. But yeah, I loved your comment. I love how, you know, Claire will do that shit a lot, too. I love how you and Claire will do that. Like, somebody will be on there kind of being a bit of an asshole. And it's like, no, look, let me exp let me bust out the crayons here and draw you a little picture to eloquently explain to you what a fucking asshole you are. <laughs> I still get a kick out of seeing you guys do it, but I'm like, yeah, oh, man, I'm downvote it and keep scrolling. 
Okay, so we do have a camp job now for Miss Tucker. Oh shit. Locate Rick the Prick Marsden. I right, yeah, let's go do that, yeah. And that's why you're successful, Rex. <laughs> well, I don't know about all that, but yeah. Um oh yeah, CJ, there's still a lot of people hating on The Last of Us too. Uh oh, for for you it's personally a masterpiece, story and gameplay. Cool. I did enjoy the gameplay. I, I honestly did. And just, I think shit, just last night I was talking about maybe doing another playthrough of The Last of Us 2, kind of playing through it with fresh eyes. Because uh, I'll be honest, when I did my live stream playthrough of it, I was rushing it. I, I was not going into it with the right mindset. Uh, I was coming out of a Days Gone playthrough, and I, I tend to be a bit over the top in Days Gone, where The Last of Us... It, the Last of Us 1 in particular, but also The Last of Us 2, it kind of wants you to play stealthy for the most part. And, uh, you know, re you know uh, conserve your resources and, you know, don't go over the top with guns and shit. And, you know, me, I go in with my shotgun out pretty much all the time. Uh, and it's just not how that game is intended to be played. So I went into it with the wrong mindset and was kind of rushing through it and didn't let myself slow down and enjoy it like I should have. Um, You're out here so yeah, I mean, I'm, I didn't get Tucker, into it because I was rushing it, but I'm not one of those people who shits all over it because they took a controversial direction me. with the story. You always seem like the kind of man who'd attract every dirtbag out in the shit. You want me to send Alki? Lance, what's up, man? Hello and welcome. Uh, what was he wearing when your men got hit? Same thing he always wore. One of those black coats down to the knees, cowboy hat. Teague, bring me his hat. More holes in it, the better. Okay, so he's dressed like an asshole. Got it, St. John out. Damn, James, you played The Last of Us 2 six times? Holy shit, dog. Well, if I do stream it again, uh, I don't have it Oh, man, I just straight up missed that one. I don't have it on the roster anytime soon. But if I do... Okay, yeah, we're reloading this one. My headshot game is off. Uh, so anyway, yeah, if I do, uh, I hope you're around while we're streaming it so you can, like, give me advice man, and Marston stuff. Marston looks like he got himself a goddamn army. Ha, doesn't surprise me. He always seemed like the All right, let's see if we can actually nail some fucking headshots this shit. time. You want me to send Alki? Uh, no, I got this. Uh, what was he wearing when your men got hit? <laughs> What's he wearing? Same okay, thing that's he him right there. One of those black coats down to the knees, cowboy hat. Bring me his hat. <laughs> I love the way he just kind of slow fell back. <laughs> okay, so he's dressed like an ass. Nice. Got it, St. John out. It's a lot of these assholes. Mm, somebody give me a pretty target. They'll do. Something's not right here. Yeah, your friends keep dropping dead right in front of you. Oh, man. Damn, dude, my headshot game is off today. What the monkey sex is going on here? All right, let's try this again. Maybe I should just get closer. <laughs> Come on. Somebody wants to stand still in my crosshair, don't they? He'll do. What was that? Ah. And your friend, too. Okay. Oh, here we go. Reinforcements. Okay. 
That's better. Oh, that was a cool jump that guy did back there. They're back there getting it. Hey, you don't know where I'm at yet. What the hell? All right. I got something for you assholes. Hey, that motherfucker knocked my bike over, man. What a fucking prick. I think I'm going to have to shoot you and all of your friends in the face now. In a minute. We don't need a sniper rifle for this because this guy's just right around the corner. Right there. Hi, buddy. Oh, why are you missing your face? Bud, what, what happened to your face? But what happened to your face, though? Oh, that's just how you look. Never mind. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> yeah, get him, get him. Oh, man. Okay, that, that really should have been a headshot. What the fuck happened? Yeah. Somebody wants to give me a target. Oh, maybe it's you. Who else wants to give me a target? Well, there's one. It's not a very good target, though. Tell you what. I do believe this one is begging for a Molotov. Oh, come on. Oh, you fucking prick. And that's the last round in my rifle, too. <laughs> now, the music is still on. No? Music dying off? There we go. Nice. All right. Oh, I still have one. Okay, I've got one in the magazine. Or one in the chamber and none in the mag. All right. Okay, now, did we... Yeah, we got to loot that asshole up there. So let's grab some shit here. Excuse me, loot these assholes down here. Mm, fuck it, we'll catch up with the chat first. I'm letting the chat fall behind. Sorry, guys. All right, so uh, that held my attention for a moment. Hi. Oh, man, my, my stream just freaked out on me. Hang on, let me uh, close the app on my uh, iPad. YouTube's being weird on my iPad. Stupid YouTube. Being all weird and shit. Oh, maybe it's just my iPad being weird. Do 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 Stream holding up okay for everybody else? Because it just being weird on my iPad here, and I don't know if it's just me, my iPad, or, like, yes, all of it. There we go. Okay, now I'm back in and live here. I <laughs> hate it when my friends drop dead like that. <laughs> What's up, Knights of Finland? going on I 
Wow, we have 30 people watching right now and 30 people in the chat, too. Damn it, boy. Basics of pain. What's going on, man? Hey, BOP. Welcome in. Okay, Tom says stream's doing okay for you. Ah, and things are getting better for Knights of Finland right on. Check it out. DJ Dynamics is with us. Hello, DJ Dynamics. And also Joni Murray. Hello, ma'am. All right. Well, let's get back to it. He says, while snapping a shot in photo mode. Drag inventory full. Can we make anything? I did use a focus cocktail. Let's do that. Yes. Molotov. I wish that Molotov had hit that guy. That actually kind of bothers me a little bit. More scrap. But, oh well. Sometimes I end up wasting more supplies than I actually use effectively. Gunpowder, that's good stuff. Might be able to make a smoke bomb. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've got plenty of materials. What are we doing on other shit? Oh, I can make these now, but I'm full up on them. Okay, cool. Doing pretty good on materials and, you know, crafting stuff. Okay, I haven't picked up any bandages yet, so I'm going to go ahead and make and use and make one here. I know as soon as I craft a bandage, I'm going to find a full bandage on one of these assholes. It's just... It, <laughs> yeah, it's, I fucking knew it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Never. And here's the quest guy. You deserve to die, ring the prick. Oh yeah, the exploding uh, car ambush ones. Yeah. It hadn't happened to you in a long time until yesterday. And it happened just as you turned away. <laughs> nice. The community is, in fact, growing at a rapid rate. You know, that's what happens when you play with it. It starts to grow. It, it is what it is. Okay, I don't see any more corpses over here. So, let's just keep playing with it and maybe it'll keep growing. <laughs> oh, hey, that's... Uh, okay, I can't pick that up anyway. Ah, we need to say hello to Honey Okashe. Hello. Hello and welcome. What's going on? Stamina depleted. I do, I st sometimes still forget that we're playing early game Deacon and he's just not a badass yet. Okay, and we need to go turn that in. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck your sign. It's the apocalypse. We don't need no signs. We do need your wolf meat, though. Where's your friends at? I know you brought friends. Come on. Where's your friends? Now, just this morning... I watched while Claire tried to harvest some meat off a of fucking wolf and got attacked by a couple more wolves. Where's your friends at? Okay, I guess we're going to try it. <laughs> this is one way to find out if there's more wolves nearby. Hmm, only the one. 
fine. When you want to kill some wolves for the meat, they all fuck off. When you don't want to be bothered by wolves, you'll find packs of eight at a time. Hey, someone's at the gate. Mr. Deacon St. John. That's right. Mr. Deacon St. John, sir, to you, ma'am. Okay, just seeing what you got. Here you go. Here, good as new. I really like hitting level three at Tucker's camp here for a lot of different reasons, but also because of the, it gives you a spot early game where you can buy everything. Um, you know, saddlebag refills, suppressors, med kits, grenades, um, getting level three else. here early in the game Let really know. does make things a lot easier for you. I guess if you have the kind of play style where you use the guns and you use the camps hey, and going? stuff. I guess it doesn't, doesn't mean shit if you're doing like Claire's uh, anti-social playthrough or, you know, some of those live in the world kind of play styles. No, I leave the bike here for now. Go turn in this mission. <laughs> See you around. What do you want? Hey, Tuck, got you a new hat. <laughs> nice job. Did he put up much of a fight? So, uh, do I get paid more if he did? No. <laughs> then why do you care? Just enjoying the thought of how much the son of a bitch suffered before he bled out. Well, Jesus, Tuck, I don't do this shit for your entertainment. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll just keep playing with it and it'll keep growing. <laughs> oh, yeah, Claire is putting her kiddo to bed right now. Yeah, she'll be along once uh, she gets him in the bed. Yeah, no bed. <laughs> nah, the kiddo's actually doing really good tonight. Um, He's been really good today. Shit, we had a lot of fun this evening. And in fact, the truth is, Claire is probably asleep with him right now. <laughs> She's probably up there taking a, a little nap. <laughs> okay, so we don't have any more missions here for uh, this camp. We can go to O'Leary Mountain, pick up Boozer's bike. Ooh, we can go out here, do this Nero mission, or we can just keep... Uh, tracking uh, camp jobs for now, which I kind of want to just keep doing camp jobs for now. Oh, I need to say hello to Tux Trio TV. What's up, Tux Trio? And colorful soldiers. No bed. <laughs> oh, what is it with no bed? All right, so uh, I don't know. Somebody might be able to find that clip for you. But uh, one night, Claire was still doing her streams uh, at like 8 p.m. herself, one of her Sunday night stream or something, I think, uh, instead of 9 like she does now. She was doing it at 8 because she'd put the kiddo to bed and then, you know, go down and, and start her stream. But it was too early. He, he was never really asleep by then. Uh, so one night, she's down here scream, streaming. She's on camera doing a live stream on her channel. And... Uh, her kiddo pops into the stream room and comes in and sits down with her and is uh, talking on the mic. Yeah, her kiddo was asleep, half you know, half asleep, and he came in and crashed the live stream. And she's like, no, baby, it's time for bed. We have to go back to bed. And to which he replies very eloquently, no bed. <laughs> so that's where the no bed thing comes from. And that was probably too loud. I probably just woke them up and I'm going to be in trouble now. Oops. No bed. here it's all right open it up i was in my classroom when, you know, i taught english in college. hey deacon hey buzz shit you really need a lot of fuel i don't even know where to start with this thing okay so that was all needed on that oh, yeah, we didn't use any you. ammo yeah okay i'm here if you need me um 
Let's talk to Ricky. I like to do these camp jobs as they pop before you move on with the story. Just because um, if you progress the story a little too far, the camp jobs will become temporarily unavailable. Some of them. I don't know the specific order on each one, but I do know that the camp jobs are affected by the story. So if you get to a certain point in the story, then the, the camp jobs, are, you can't progress in them anymore. So you have to like finish up with that bit of the story to make the camp job available again. For the most part, I prefer to just go ahead and knock them out as they pop so that you are always as leveled up as you can be. You've always got as much XP as you can get or camp trust or camp credits, all of that. You've always got as much of it as you can at that point in the game. I don't think we needed anything else here. Uh, we didn't use the saddlebags for anything. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. This is one that can bug out a lot. I've seen, I've seen some pretty hardcore bugs on this mission, and somebody found a fix for one of them that is so crazy and arcane and just like, how the fuck did you figure this out? It's, it's literally like, drive the bike into the building, park the bike in the building, save your game, load your game, fast travel here. It's fucking nuts how they figured out the fix for this broken mission. Uh, but I never do the tracking bits. Um, I just go straight to the little house where they're at, which is right up here. You know, you've got these marauders in this house over here. You can just drive straight to the house and take out the marauders. There's no need to do the little searchy bits. Right here. Yeah, I'm waiting for Claire to come in and talk to me about that. Hey, how do you, like, actually know exactly where I am, dude? That's bullshit. Alright, let's get some distance. Regain stealth. Get some cover, too. There we go. Now we've broken line of sight with most of them. Wow, they are a little extra today, aren't they? I don't recall ever seeing them quite so aggro. They've literally never chased me across the street before. That's new. It's never happened to me before. I've come in a little too hot and got their attention before, but I've never had them chase me across the street like this. rest of them over there in the camp, they should be mostly occupied by the freaks that they're drawing in with all their gunfire. So let's go ahead and loot the corpses. Uh, I could use that bandage, I suppose. <laughs> there it is. Okay, it sounds like things have quieted down over there a little bit. As they open fire again.
I don't see any other marauders moving around, so it's probably just the sniper left over here. Really? Alright. Dude, where the fuck are you going? Do you? Looks like it might be a bleacher, so that may actually kill him for us. Yep, that did actually kill him. Nice. That was a bleacher. Ah, oh, there are more human enemies somewhere, though. All right, here we go. Hey, come on out. Come out now and we'll talk it over. See if we can come to some sort of understanding. There's the kid. <laughs> you see him clipping through the door. Got it. That is one of my favorite no sir go for the corpse on the ground that we're trying to loot thank you that is one of my favorite tactics here when you know you're going to push into a building that has enemies who are aware of you open with a flashbang or a smoke bomb or something like that Jesus. all right kiddo <laughs> mxt gaming and andrew lanning hello and welcome if I missed anybody, sincerest apologies. Welcome in, everybody. Glad to see y'all here tonight. Rex, what are your least favorite guns? Um, that would be everything that's not the auto shotgun, BFG, or SMP9. Those are my least favorite guns. Go, go. Nah, really, uh, my least favorite guns are the single shot rifles that do not have a scope. Uh, like, I get, I, I've talked to a lot of people on the Days Gone subreddit who use uh, the single shot rifles that don't have a scope uh, because they like not having the scope narrowing down your field of view. Uh, but I just, I prefer the long range advantage of having like a, a triple zoom scope uh, like the BFG and the Talon 7 rifles offer. Uh, just, you gotta love a good optic on your rifle, man. Um, but yeah, I'd say the least favorite are the single shot rifles that don't have a scope. Uh, and let's see, uh, love the sound of battle in the background. Fuck yeah. Andrew Lanning says, what up champ? Oh man, just fucking living life, man. Uh, sawed off shotgun and nine millimeter absolute shite. Yeah. The early game weapons. Yeah. Yeah. They are pretty rough. Now we're getting there. We're getting Somewhere, at least. Okay. Where the hell did I leave my bike? 
All that fucking chaos. Ah, oh, Lance is asking Dead Island 2. Uh, you know, honestly, I like... Uh, I love Dead Island. Played the shit out of them. I, I honestly don't know anything about the sequel. Are, are they actually making a sequel now? Because I know there was talk about it for a long time, and it kind of dropped off the radar, and I never heard anything else about it. Uh, so are they making a sequel like for real this time because i'll sure as shit play it so it looks like all we have right now is just this story mission oh wait there's the story mission at o'leary mountain and this mission to track down the neuroscientist we can do the neuroscientist one we're not too far from it Okay. Yeah, he shot me. Well, no shit. <laughs> it's a fucking firefight. Oh, the current release date is February 3rd of 2023. Nice. I still want to play Dying Light, too, because uh, I enjoy Dying Light. Uh, my brother and one of our good buddies, we played that. We played the shit out of Dying Light a few years ago. Right. Really enjoyed it. Beacons, and, uh, you know, we uh, I saw uh, Borislav 24-7 playing Dying Light 2 on his channel. I didn't watch much of it because I didn't want spoilers for it. I do intend to play that one. Uh, so, you know, it's another one I'd like to play. Dying Light 2, Dead Island 2, both of those. St. John out. This is O'Brien. Are you there? Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. When I got too close, I was going to call them. Well, I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Hmm? <laughs> well, not like I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them. Sound on the of ten soldiers march the road. Jesus. They're over here. Good here. That's right. You boys go on the about the business. Clear? I was putting eye drops in for my contacts. Recently, Let them get away from me. Put it on. Shit, I thought they were all. Oh, you did not take me out of it. Come on, tell I was right fucking behind them, dude. Ah, that's my fault. I wasn't looking at the screen. I was putting in eye drops. Shit. All right. Uh, fuck. Now it's fucked off the sequence where they're moving around differently. Okay, here we go. Huh. 
There we go. Okay. Let's try paying attention this time. Another subject exhibiting the morphology of stage two infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted. Fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay. There we go. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on. Shit, I thought they were all, you know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. No oh, shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. Now this bit here, it always tells me that I'm going too far from them, but as long as you can get in these bushes by this window, you should be safe. get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and for shitting a fun themselves. day of eating us and shitting oh, themselves. The these guys wasting their time with this shit. <sighs> Hope you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and no, I didn't catch her name. Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Right. Now, some of you who are familiar with my earlier videos, you may know this location. Uh, I have a video on this one because it shows where to find four cans in pretty much one spot. There are three right here, and then there's one more in this house over here. I think in the house that the researcher was in, right over there on the other side of those rocks. I'm not going to go fuck with it right now because of the Nero researchers there, but there is a fourth can right here in this area. All right, so it looks like the no bed situation has been resolved. <laughs> and, <laughs> and my lovely British fiance, Claire Weaver of the Days Gone podcast, aka 8 Bit Terror, has joined us to be my live chat assistant this evening. Live chat, live chat assistant. Hello, 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 hello Spornicus Rex. Hello, everyone. How's it going? <laughs> Doing well. Having fun playing our favorite game. <laughs> Joe says, Miss Claire. Did I hear you yell no bed earlier? Because no. that was really loud. No, you, I didn't say <laughs> anything. You you guys have my back, right? Nobody heard me say that? <laughs> Way too fucking loud? <laughs> yeah, I was like, was oh, I was like, oh, shit. That's, I probably just woke them up. God damn it. Uh, I like the way you said them. Um, you would be incorrect. <laughs> you would be incorrect. Finn has not been right, asleep okay. the past hour. I've had several naps. <laughs> yeah. I've been asleep about four or five times. <laughs> but I'm like, the room is like pitch black. The curtains are closed. It's nice and cozy. We're snuggled under the blankets. We've read Nap Time for Kitty three times. <laughs> it's a good one. Um, we're holding onto our water bottle and our ice cream truck. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm comfy. 
I'm, I'm going to sleep. And he's just like awake. He didn't fall asleep until at least nine o'clock. Like he just fallen asleep. Mm. I managed to sneak out. Uh, he was, um, he was doing that thing where he was like asleep. But if I moved, he would wake uh -huh. up. Like, All no, over with. Dude, you can use a bandage. Mm -hmm. You there? <laughs> yeah, Mike, I'm here. Ricky told me what you'd done. Saving Gabby and all, I just... <laughs> CJ <to> says, <laughs> laugh my ass off, busted. <laughs> sure, Mike, yeah, I, uh, just wish... Oh, no, James Gwan. Uh-oh. Don't want to see, you don't want to let Splunkus Rex see that comment. Easy there, killer, calm down now, calm down. <laughs> he says, I mean, Claire Bear. Claire Bear. Uh -huh. Typo. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I guess I'll allow it. <laughs> Joe Schmoe's mm -hmm. ratting you out. Yes, Claire, he fucking oh, did. Dang it, Jim. Hey, who do you work for, me or her? Hey, oh, wait, never mind. Her up? <laughs> hey, yeah, she's fine. A little traumatized, but I guess no more than anyone else. Well, I guess we all know what it's like to lose someone. Yes, we do. Yeah. See you, Ricky. <laughs> CJ says, no. Rex, no bed. Claire, <laughs> no. did you say no bed earlier? <laughs> Rex, no. 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 <laughs> My dog ate it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So what I miss? What's uh, going on? You have you played this game before? No. <laughs> Never. Do you want me to show you, show you what the controls are? Oh, uh, please. Hey, wait a minute. It snowed at O'Leary Mountain. You don't get snow at O'Leary Mountain very often. It's usually, you know, it's like while you're at Lost Lake or mm -hmm. down south, you don't get much. You don't get snow in the Cascades very often at all. Yeah. Interesting. It's nice. It looks nice. Yeah. Oh, don't yawn. No, I I'm, know, I'm right? not no bed. I'm very much <laughs> pro bed. <laughs> Sorry. Anyone who saw me on my stream this morning, this morning, oh my word, would know I'm, oh, I'm tired today. It's been a long fucking day. Yeah. It's been a long fucking week. It's only mm, Wednesday. Yeah, right. Shit, we're still, we are still all <laughs> fucked off from a sleepless night last. God damn, I'd, night. I'd literally. Okay, yeah. So it was technically this week. Um, early no, this week. You don't count Sunday mm. as the first day of the week, which I don't. Uh -huh. Oh my god, I'm god sorry. Damn it. Here I'm we go. Sorry. Now we're stuck in a fucking yawning feedback <laughs> loop. <laughs> okay, Knights of Finland says, I'm dumping your tea in the ocean. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? That's a very American thing to do. Mm. Uh, James says, Rex, I was about to say, I've not really seen snow up there. Yeah, see, it's all melted off now and it just. Uh oh. Uh -oh, and it's just on, lovely hang mud. Hang on. What is what is this? Tom Moose says yeah, Rex's head, my head game, game is, is off. off tonight. Yeah, I'm not I'm I not bet. very good at giving head tonight. I beg to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Um, you know, I? it's all about paying attention to detail, really. Right. Uh but no, uh, my headshot game has been off tonight pretty bad, so I've been missing head. I was earlier. I actually reloaded a, a bit because. Uh, what? Well, yeah, I reloaded a bit. You can leave I out my book. Kept missing headshots. I was like, no, yeah. we're just not. We're not. I'm not down with that. Fuck that. I'm so confused where you are in the game. I know. I'm. Just, I'm actually getting tired already. No. God damn it. Do you want me but, to take uh, over? <laughs> no. Uh, CJ says the part where you go in the church, took out a marauder near the back, and somehow their body was still there during Deacon's flashback. <laughs> Nothing like getting married with a dead body person. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. Like, I want that glitch now. Tom says that you've been giving terrible head shots. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's true. <gasps> Did you tell everyone about the new thing that's hey, hanging behind the stream Wait, the chair? No, I didn't. You I don't have the camera bike. on, so I... Well, I didn't want cope. Right, I, I told, told them about my shirt, though. Oh, Jesus yeah, Steve. cute shirt, babe. Yeah, yeah, you like hey, my shirt? Mostly, yeah, a little bit. I, to, I told them that you, right. said, you said it doesn't look ridiculous on me, which is really all I have to go by. Boozer needs new tires on the bike. He does, doesn't he? Oh, poor Boos, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you think about it and like, it's not, 
deep. That's not just all he and had just left of his old life. That's all he had left of his wife. You know, as he and his wife Joni used to ride, you know, and he can't even have that anymore. I mean, he still has those memories, but can't relive it now. I wonder if Deacon is like, well, just how he feels because he's lost his bike. He has the, you know, Copeland mm. steals it and mm. parts it out and you end up working to put together the new drifter bike but it's right. not your old one. Right. And it doesn't have the gas tank have that the gas Sarah tank. had painted for him. Deacon St. John, how have you been? <laughs> How's it going, Buzz? Here to check out so I wonder how Deacon feels okay. about getting okay. Booster's bike I'll if it's partially mm. a selfish mm -hmm. act. In oh, that yeah. It's like kind well, of projecting his own yeah. needs onto it. Yeah, time. a little bit. Or if he, if it's not selfish, if it's just, yeah, bro, I understand what it's like to not have your bike, so I got Deke. you your bike. Yeah. How's my favorite bounty hunter? Blair, you are. Joe says, watching Boozer's today. face there, it fucking mm. breaks my heart. Yeah. Such good fucking acting. Oh, I was on Jim Perry, who plays Boozer. I was on Jim Perry's Instagram earlier. Okay, Sorry then. for the pause there, but you were like, where the fuck is the sentence going? <laughs> <laughs> I was on Jim Perry earlier. No, wait, what? No. I was on his Instagram earlier. And he posted a picture saying that, um, showing him working on God of War Ragnarok. He plays oh, yeah. a character in that. Yeah. Yeah. I guess he wasn't allowed to announce it until just now. Mm. Okay, so we should have something popping up for the story any minute now. CJ says Schizo glitched out during a cutscene in the mine as well. All you could see was a floating flare. Mm -hmm. So you had a body where it shouldn't have been and no Schizo where he should have been. Mm -hmm. At least Schizo didn't show up at the wedding. St. John. <laughs> this is Mark Copeland at Deacon St. John. What, hey, boy? Ho. What? What's up? St. John. Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape. Knights of Finland salary. is going to head out soon. Really? He's planning a photo shoot Indeed. for a reenactment That's site. Not the nice. Funny cool. The Sounds funny like thing fun. Is they went back up there today mm -hmm. to pick it up. Well, have a good night, bud. Bike was gone. <clears throat> Good luck with that photo shoot, and we will see you next time. Yeah. Uh, Cap says, I think Deacon genuinely got the bike for Boozer. I think so, too. Yeah. He didn't realize it was only going to make him sadder. He thought he was doing something nice for him. Kind of like when he got the thunder egg for Lisa. Right. A useless, useless gesture that he means well, but it's still just a useless gesture. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? CJ says Sal the thing is salvage, dude. Salvage. <laughs> salvage. No, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. This he's is been such hanging a out. dick mm -hmm. fucking know, move of Copeland. This is insinuation. Oh, is Boozer dead? John Did Boozer out. die? Yeah. Did you lose your bro? Is yeah. Boozer dead? Is Boozer dead? Did he die? Come on, Deacon. Spill the stole, beans. We were going to steal his bike. We are going to steal his bike because he's dead, right? Everybody knows he's dead. It's like, fuck you, Copeland. Yeah, Addy, what's oh up? Oh my god, I can't get a word in edgeways with the uh, when you get a the radio. Anything wrong? No. Oh, the auto shotgun. I haven't unlocked uh, yeah. the auto shotgun okay. in mine yet. My playthrough. Anyway, um, CJ says the thing is, shouldn't Manny have noticed whose gas tank it was? He knew. You'd think he would have at least kept that for Deacon or something. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, he definitely knew that was Deke's bike. And then I think when the part where Deacon's like, oh, a fuel, a fuel pump like this? He's like, oh, shit, okay, there's no hiding it now. See, I don't think he did know. Yeah. I, I wonder, I mean... I don't see I, how he couldn't, honestly. Yeah, but did he know Deacon's... I guess he... Had he worked on Deacon's bike? Like, I know he sort of knew Deacon, but, like, did he yeah. know the bike? Had yeah, there's the, the insinuation that it's, he's been taking him to the mechanic there, you know, that Manny's been working on his bike. No, They not know a, each other. They know each other, but I think they know each other from before. Mm. I don't think Deacon's ever taken his bike to Copeland's camp. Hmm. At, at that point in the story. Yeah. How's William? I, I don't think so. Um, Boozer, how the hell are but maybe because he surviving. talks about well, the guys bringing it off the truck or whatever and it's like maybe Listen, it was already kind of you need to partially parted or something what do you mean but that would make no sense i don't know yeah. big adjustment he's given up the life he had 
wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Yeah, my iPad has been really fucking weird Steve tonight. Weird, if you'd yeah. rather, would you rather no, no, no. switch over to uh, your actually, iPad? Yes, I would. Yeah, that's fine. Mine actually has been weird tonight. I think it needs to be power cycled. I keep, uh, <laughs> I was just making that, oh my God, noise because I, I keep accidentally turning off the chat or something. Like I'm just trying to scroll the, through the mm -hmm, chat. And, and it's it keeps like, fucking off and yeah, backing like, out of the chat. Yeah. You know? Um, hang on. Let me get mine set up. Sorry, I just skipped that one. Loser's out. fine. He'll live anyway. <laughs> hey, now I can see. Uh, Lance says, hey, Miss Claire, hope you and Rex this evening is going well. Yeah, so far. Yeah. It has been a good night, actually. Yeah. Cap says, not today, Cope. <laughs> uh, Joe says, I don't think Manny was keeping track of gas tanks, too busy keeping his nose down. <laughs> Manny doesn't strike me as the smartest, most observant well, person. I you know, that's that's kind of how I believe that, yeah, maybe he didn't notice. I don't think he pays attention to the details. Unless he's sort of instructed to. Old Lady Deke Geek says, I never could figure out what made Deacon think that second, seeing that Boozer seeing his bike would be anything but hey, depressing booze, for Boozer. I'm having a blast. I think it's just another example of Deacon just See being a little dense with other people. Like I said, like he does with Lisa, I think he's he's trying to make a good gesture. And also if they've moved to Lost Lake, it's like, well, we've got to get all our stuff from O'Leary Mountain if we're not there anymore. And what's more precious to a biker than his bike? And they still wear the cut. Booze is still wearing his cut, so he's still a biker. He still needs his bike. I just don't think he really Sorry. thought that it would have that hey, negative impact. <laughs> CJ says, salvage. Hey, <laughs> salvage. Deacon, yes, I'm here. Hey, so, uh... Cap says Manny might have known it was a custom it. tank, but not known so it belonged well, to Deacon. I, I guess I'm really worried about it. Yeah, me too. When he stopped by, he seemed... Joe yeah. says, Deke hey, just thought it was one thing Boozer impressed. could have back. Didn't well, really think about the fact that he I'm wouldn't be able to sure ride it until he stupid. watched him get on it. I'll see what I can do. I don't know. <laughs> you do that, Deacon. Oh, Lance says, I'm low on money right now, but I love yours so much, I'm going to buy something from your website. When I get more money, of course. <laughs> really LOL. Sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, don't sweat it, man. Don't don't feel obligated. Yeah, um, yeah. We're, we're happy just to have people in the chat. And the truth. She'll you all are just free. such great people. I love hanging out oh, with everyone. Cope, 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 shut the hell up. Not today, Cope. <laughs> Not today, Cope. Um, of course, we do appreciate all contributions, all support. Um, every uh, purchase from the store, any profit we make, it all comes back into the channels. It all helps support what we do. Um, so, yes, it's definitely appreciated. Uh, definitely much needed. But if you're low on money, don't feel obligated. Take care of yourself first. Yeah. Uh, CJ says, Claire, told Rex earlier that your podcast inspired me to do a character study. It's on Schizo and the Rippers. Connecting the dots in regard to his motives for doing what he did. Oh, that is really fucking cool. Fucker. Yeah, you don't get to come in here and fuck with me and then run off and live. That It doesn't work that way. Sorry. Uh, CJ, so are you, is that like a sort of essay you're writing or what are you, how are you putting that together? I would be really, really interested to see that. Uh, old lady Deke Geek says Deke doesn't really have too great of people skills <laughs> and his, he's kind of emotionally clueless like some guys are. Mm -hmm. Check this out. We're going to get to ambush the ambushers. There's another one at the back mm -hmm. left. What was that? I heard it. <laughs> Did she not notice that three of her buddies just dropped? He did. He's like, oh no. <laughs> I love how he's running for cover and not running to investigate the corpses. He's like, fuck that. I'm getting to cover. He knows what's up. Yeah, I can't help them. Now, where'd he go? He's, I think, behind that white car. Yeah, yeah you're is. absolutely correct. I see him there. 
ice. And that is why I love the scoped rifles in this game. Especially once you hit a point where you can buy suppressors for your uh, mm. special slot. Mm -hmm. Fun. Got jumped by three runners and then ambushed some ambushers. Dub riders with us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. I don't have any other camp jobs I can do. I don't. Okay, yeah, there are no hordes left up here, no hordes down here. I don't think I have any hordes available here either. Yeah, we'll have to get to... Those last two are when you do the... Yeah, you do the mission with Boozer to yeah. chase down that Nero chopper. Yep. I kind of... It's... We've only got about 30 minutes left. I kind of didn't really want to get into this next story mission, uh, which is the one where you go in the mine with Schizo. Mm. I was looking for some other trouble to get into before we do that, because that's a bit kind of a long bit. I don't know that we can knock it out in 30 minutes or less. I think you can. I don't think it takes that long. Because you just got to go into the mine, get the uh, get the stuff, and fight your way back out. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can give it a shot. It doesn't take too long. A couple cutscenes. Uh, let me catch up. Joe says, can you blame Deacon? He hasn't really had the opportunity to be emotionally aware for the first uh, for the last two years living in the ship. Uh, Lance says, no, for real, I just said out loud, I love Rex and Claire. Aww. I really respect a gamer slash streamer that loves their audience and doesn't push them around, uh, just goes with the flow. Fuck yeah. I mean, shit, isn't that how it's supposed to be done? Yeah. That's how I thought it was supposed to be. Am I doing it wrong? I don't know. Are we supposed to be the boss? Is this supposed to be like hot springs? And we just like beat people up? Yeah. This thing. I'm here if you need me, man. Because I mean, if you'll give me more money, I will. <laughs> uh, CJ says, I've been writing a lot of the details down as I play through the game this time. There's a lot more to yeah. note about it than oh. some would think. Mm -hmm. uh, starting Very right when you visit Cope for the today. first time. CJ, yep. are you on the Discord? Nice. I can't remember if you joined the Discord or not. Uh, yep. But I want you to hit me up about this. This is actually uh, good timing for something I've been working on. Aww. And I would like to maybe uh, talk to you about it. Or send me an email, daysgonepod at gmail.com. So yeah, Dub Rider's finally done working. Enjoying the banter. Oh, right on. Oh, and... Oh my gosh. Tom's changed his name. The Jameson Juice Box says. <laughs> the Jameson Juice Box. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, Cap says, I tend to agree that Deke is a bit dense. Uh, he is well, kind of awkward at his own guess. wedding, interacting with Lisa, <laughs> etc. He's a macho biker. Yeah, it's funny because he doesn't look like a macho biker. He looks like someone who's a little bit more, um, I guess, just... Cause he comes across kind of like smart and like he's very intuitive okay. in a lot of scenes. He understands right people, there. but he doesn't seem to understand like emotions. People in there before. We, lo we lost who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans looking for supplies. I told you that no, they were... No, goddammit, you didn't. I told you that we went after him, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives, and Mike, I'll hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me. How much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these no, days, huh? No, hold on. He's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? 
Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Don't you knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing you black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking All right, expert Stannis. to know the freaks come out at night. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah? come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Fucking acting in the scene is incredible. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus. What if I could? Who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Uh, Lance says, I would like to know how Deke got to Oregon, met his girlfriend. Ah, that is actually in the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he talks about it um, fairly early on, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the specific scene, uh, but he... I, fuck, he's talking to Sarah about it? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember exactly um, what they say. Uh, it's the... Well, yeah, I, I think of the bit where he's talking to Ricky about it, about coming home from the military. Right, right, right. Yes, yeah, uh, you're right. It is being Ricky. A, being, literally being a drifter before the collapse, moving around for a while uh, before he found a place to settle down and become a bike mechanic up there in Oregon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are we going? Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp. Over. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out, fix... ...that transformer. <laughs> that hot shower still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk then. You can out. Oh shit, I went the long way. God damn it. Oh, gonna I'm, I'm gonna get lost. Yeah, he's gonna fucking beat me. God damn it. Nah, he ain't. That motherfucker ain't beating me. I don't give a shit. If you just go in literally a straight line <laughs> yeah. for it, there's only there's a tree that I always hit. Yeah, yeah. If you remember to go around like the tree. Laid down tree. Yes. Yeah. But apart from that, you can literally just go in a straight line. Yeah, just polar bear it. Yeah. Yeah, polar bear it. <laughs> Yeah, Cap, I think that's right. They both had bike shops there in Farewell. Maybe just knew each other professionally. Mm. That's why I think Manny, uh, sorry, Deke isn't taking his bike to Manny all that often because he's maintaining it. Himself, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Joe says Deke was born and raised in Farewell, left with the military Deke. after he was discharged. He eventually kind of came back to Farewell, bumped into Sarah on a ride oh, through Jesus the Cascades. It's actually Belknap, and the rest is history. Trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch. I, I, there's the question of, of wouldn't Manny and Deke have crossed paths before both be mechanics, and I get the feeling that they kind of know each other, but I don't know how much a mechanic in a town would know a going? different mechanic at a rival yeah. shop, you know where it is? Yeah. necessarily. 
I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. <laughs> Joseph's Cascades, Bell Nap, it's all the upper portion of the map. Kind of like Deacon Michigan, Wisconsin, whatever, Lost one of those. Camp. Over. Watch yeah, Ricky, tree. what's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out, fix that transformer. There you go. <laughs> that hot shower still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk then. Deacon out. Nice. Aha! I win. That was dumb. This game is called I Win. <laughs> because so long. I win. <laughs> Joe's like, okay, Clyde, that was just offensive. My little, <laughs> my little jab. <laughs> the upper Midwest or whatever, you know, the upper portion of the map of the US. Lance says, I played this game twice and beat it. Love the story. So these belong and of to course, Mike's men. My uh, fucking up the but dead. Yeah. I still want to make Evans. that bike D has in real life. Been out in the the, the drifter bike, yeah. Been I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. It's because why wouldn't you bring their shit back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. And Mike said the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. Should be a set of spare keys somewhere inside the office. Gotta get those little suckers. We finally agree on something. Ah! Goddamn newts, you all burn, little shits. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's wicked. I don't think I've ever heard him say that. Two with one shot? <laughs> oh, I, I thought it did. I actually thought it gave me both of them. All right. Be still so I can shoot you in your little ugly face. I think I can boost you on yeah, your Don't forget to crack Molotovs. Yeah, we probably go. Just standing on a shit ton of like yeah, kerosene, there's kerosene and, stuff. and rags and bottles and shit, yeah, all over the place here. Wait, Ready? there's still the great mitten debate between Wisconsin and Michigan? Says Joe, and Cap says I only heard about the mitten thing from my ex roommate who's from Michigan. What? What is the mitten thing? Uh, Lancer Schizo said, brother to Deke. I wish Deke would have replied, you're not my fucking brother, you're an asshole. <laughs> 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 I mean, he does say, I ain't your bro or I ain't your brother at some Tells point. Tells him that quite, quite often, several yeah. times. Uh, the Jameson Juicebox says, I have a lot of friends that are mechanics. They do seem to know each other. Many frequent the same bars. Shops maintain friendships with other garages. I agree that that's probably the case most for the most part, but Deacon's shop was run by the MC, which I imagine maybe they stand apart a little bit from the others. I don't know for sure. I don't really know much about bike culture or bike... Stop it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <gasps> oh, you me. did say to craft more Molotovs. <laughs> Somebody's not getting laid tonight. No. <laughs> yeah, you. <gasps> Guess so. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, Joe says, and if you heard the proper <laughs> argument, you would know that Michigan, that, that Michigan, that Wisconsin, sorry, Joe, wins the mitten debate because as long as Michigan owns the UP Upper Peninsula, the state. Ain't look like him. no mitten. Great, great. Look around. Uh, Honey says fucking flare. newts, they creep me Wait, out. You didn't bring a flashlight? <laughs> Just yeah, too wily. Shit's getting hard to find these days. At least ones that have any juice left. Flares. 
Oh, okay. So it's doing that weird thing where it's not letting me fill up my health. It's showing me that I have a portion missing off of my health bar. Yeah, yeah, Gizzo, okay, whatever. I found a box of flares. Yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, kind of. Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes? I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Oh, we need to say hello to so Dr. Kachimbo. Yeah. What's up, Doc? Hello. Deacon only gets along with his MC brothers and him. really doesn't give a fuck yeah. about anybody else, Great yeah? Guy. I was distracted from the chat, sorry. I was looking up the... Mitten, if you Google mitten debate, I hate to break this to you, Joe, but the top uh, result from the Badger Herald says Wisconsin concedes title to Michigan See, in great like mitten Looks debate. Like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. So apparently this is a debate to decide... Which state Here, was push. more mitten-shaped? I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There. Do you have nothing Where'd better to do in the Midwest? Got it. Like drugs? There. No, they have that. Oh, yeah, okay. <sighs> Looks stable to They're you, wrong, man. and they should feel bad. Stable <laughs> enough. <laughs> Joe says they're wrong, and they should feel bad. Yes. Um... Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was going to be clear. I never said that, and I mean it. If there are any freaks in here, one shot will bring them right down on our heads. I heard you already. Jesus. <laughs> did I don't you think you did. So? Yeah. Cool. Thank you, CJ. I'll look out for that. Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. I'll show you the main shaft. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? Well, your shirt does say fuck shaft. schizo, doesn't it? Map shows they started <laughs> mm -hmm. a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Yeah, Joe says, you, uh, Claire, you're talking about a place where the only thing to do for a third of the yeah. year is sit inside, drink yeah, beer, eat cheese, and watch football. Why would we not also argue about the shape of states? I mean, I suppose. Um, only a third of the year? <laughs> James says, the fuck is the great mitten debate? Google it. It's, uh, just Google it. You want to give me something to interact with? There, there we go. Yeah, I hate how long that takes. Yeah. Maybe there's a reason that they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. Uh, that doesn't seem so bad. <laughs> Old lady says, and don't get the snow from your sidewalk. <laughs> the other pastime. You all right? And no broken bones. Jesus. Oh, that was close. Yeah. Well, we're committed to this shit now. Come on. This way. What are you doing? What's it look like? You're dropping flares. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which uh, Joe says, yeah, one third of the year. The other two thirds, we can sit outside and watch baseball. The other two things are year round, of course. I disagree that's only a third of the year that it's too cold to sit outside. My ex is from South Dakota. It's eight months of the year, eight out of 12, that you cannot exist outside. It's fucking freezing there. And I'm pretty sure that Wisconsin gets colder than South Dakota. What? Uh, CJ says, important to note here, Schizo could have easily made it so Deacon had the accident 
but wanted to avoid that by getting him on side when Mike retires. Smart. Yeah, I think he doesn't want to get rid of Deacon until after he, uh, after Deacon turns him down. Well, going to get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. Buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Taurus fed for a week. You have a resort to that? A few lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Me, uh... I love this weird little bonding moment over cannibalism. Mm. Stand back. I'm not leaving it for the freaks. See, I think... Either Schizo is a very good actor, or maybe he did actually genuinely Let's care about these two. He's a little saddened by their demise, or disturbed by it, perhaps. This is it. Or he set them on fire to dispose of evidence. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Well, but that would make him a really good actor, because he seems squeeze. genuinely perturbed. Yeah. Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very mm. funny. <laughs> Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. CJ says, uh, See, Deacon, uh, Carlo wants Boozer. Yeah, right Carlos here. wants Boozer. He has to go through me first, and Deacon gets taken out of the picture for that to happen. Mm-hmm. It's empty. Shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not believe me? Sure. I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Let's go check the other one. This way. Uh, James, you heading out? All right, brother. We'll Double see you back. later, man. Make sure we Have a good night. <laughs> I like that. Deke heads. Good night, Deke heads. <laughs> That's fucking You're awesome. You're a Deke head. You're a dickhead. You're a dickhead. I'm a dickhead. We're all dickheads. Yeah. Excuse me. Hold, hold up. Hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? You think these flares got up and moved themselves? CJ says Deacon raises a very good point regarding why their bikes are still left there. Schizo gets very defensive, saying it's because of the freaks. I can never quite tell if he's defensive because he's hiding something, or if he's defensive because he's admitting he's a coward. Wait a minute, God Yeah, I was too this, scared this to come get the, the bikes it's because the there were freaks, the and he's scared of freaks. Any tracks in our way in. He rarely what goes out of camp. But, but these are my flares, damn it! How did the Schizo just typically doesn't have to witness his own handiwork. I think Joe. that's a good point. Yeah. that's Someone's one reason why, why he might have been perturbed in that way. bit there. Hold right. Up, hold up. Wait a second. He's realizing that he's not removing obstacles. He is murdering people. Who the hell's in here? Come on out. Show yourself. I actually really dislike this bit because it requires you to use melee so much. One shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels would be clear this time. No. I don't think you can use any throwables except for the Molotov, if I recall correctly. Oh, God damn it. God damn it, it's got the keys. Shit. I've never tried. Yeah. I like using melee, so. It's got the keys, uh. we gotta catch it. Hey, come back. God damn it, Skizzo, it's getting away. So with this bit, I, I know you know this already, but you don't have to like rush Shit, through it. You can take your time and like loot mm -hmm. the stuff. Oh. Where'd you go? Get the keys back. Grab some scrap, some bottles and stuff. CJ says, 
Jason Spizak did such a phenomenal job making you wonder what's fact and what's fiction. Is yeah. Schizo being real or fake? Cap says Schizo doesn't have BDE. <laughs> Cap says, yeah, I think Schizo is more scared of freaks than Deacon, and Schizo is jealous of Deke's courage and manliness. Yeah, and like his, you know, training and skill with uh, weapons and, yeah, totally. I'm kind of surprised that Schizo doesn't hold his gun in like that kind of gangster pose, you know, and just like miss every single fucking shot. So you can't use any of your throwables except for oh. Molotovs. You can't even use like smoke bombs and stuff like that. Yeah. You repair your weapon with scrap on the table in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's about that time. Scraps over there on the left. There we go. Nice. Looks like the last of them. So much for the Yeah, I really dislike that bit with all the melee. What would happen if you fired your weapon? What was I supposed to do? Throw rocks at him? Yeah, CJ. I always felt like Schizo did hear Deacon in regards to using his gun, but he's so terrified that he's just doing it anyway. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever. You're welcome. And it's one of those moments where it's like he's smart, but he's not quite smart enough. He's not good under pressure. Yeah. He's not good at keeping his cool under pressure. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to fucking finish this? Yeah. I'm ready. This way. So, he grows off. Addy said it looked like someone tried to burn Look, his castle. Look, scrap. Mm-hmm. There's the Rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? I had a drifter come in. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongols. Sound like anyone you know? Well, it's easy. Yeah. I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first. Yeah, and Schizo, bear in mind, doesn't even have melee. He doesn't have any other option. Mm. He just has his gun. And what's he gonna do? Kick him? Pick up a stick. But he'd have to look for one under pressure, <laughs> and he's not good at operating under pressure. Right. Um, yeah, Cap says, uh, agree, it's easier to use a gun than melee. Consequences of loud noises be damned. <laughs> <laughs> Joe says, Deke thinks, interesting how it suddenly smells like piss in here. <laughs> Gotta be something long. Must be the freaks. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? I'm always concerned about the bit right when you uh, get the newt the boozer, and uh, it, right it pisses on the on the back of the bike yeah. oh. and like Deacon's like Close wiping down his pants and then has to go into another mission. Yeah, right, it's he doesn't like, get to go shower. I don't yeah, or like wash his jeans or anything. Like his, For the rest of the game, his jeans are soaked with newt piss. Carlos can go fuck himself. I love that line. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, the sort of the... What's the word? Just the inflection the and the, the cadence of it and everything, you know, can go fuck himself. Yeah. I don't know the correct word for it, but I, I just love so the way what, it I had across. it and then I lost it as mm. I was trying to say it. My vocabulary is non-existent right now. Um, CJ says if Schizo pissed himself and Ricky found out, she would never let him live it down. Yeah. Let me see. Ah, nice. This ought to make the old man happy. I was say, easy with that flask, it's so. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Shit's heavy. Using guns in a freaker cave.
put an open flame near explosives. Boy, you dumb. Jebear is with us. He says syntaxes is the uh, word. I wasn't the syntax is more the choice of words. I think uh, now I'm getting I'm I'm kind of sleepy right now. It was about? it was a word like intonation, the cadence, the same with me. I got this. Yeah. Nice. Joe, hey, what's the what's the musical the term? With the rippers is going to keep us safe. The thing is. They don't give a shit about any treaty. <laughs> you just throw Schizo's socks at the freaks <laughs> and they'll run away. Hitting Copeland in the hot springs. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, Cap, I was thinking that. Take a line about. from Alien, Schizo would say, what are we going to use, bad language? And Iron Mike, he's just going to let it happen. He's going to let those bald-headed freak likes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. Schizo, you don't uh, one of my favorite lines of Deeks is much later when he says, where's Carlos? Oh, that's right. He's feeding the fucking freaks. Yeah. So glad to see the light of day. <laughs> Lance says, I wish that goddamn flare blew up in Schizo's hand. <laughs> All right. So I told you we could get through this in yeah. half an hour. Pop some heads, do a mm -hmm. cutscene. Jobs are good. Jobs are good. Bob's your uncle. My boys, she says. That's all I gotta say. I always thought that was interesting. Ah, give it to him! Okay. Calm down, Shut Schizo. Shut up, Schizo. <laughs> Let's not start sucking each other's dicks just yet. Ah, shoot the assholes! Well, I would be if you weren't in the fucking way. <laughs> Where's the last one? He's outside the fence somewhere. Oh. Usually over this way somewhere. I yep, guess he hasn't noticed that anyone's dead yet. I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. Oh, there's only oh, one. Oh, Jeremy's left. taking off. Come on. We gotta oh. get that box. All right, brother. Line. Good night, Jebba. We'll see you later, bud. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Ride by and they see ours. Oh yeah, we gotta go get the box, don't we? Score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. Yep, and here's the moment that you Deacon know, makes his position clear. I, say, mm -hmm. I don't stab my friends we in the back. Make a good team, you and I. Well, then don't say Good. It. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Scott? My point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me. Fire Mike, don't I like he the hell says up. that the like Deacon's been trying to tell him. Like you've been trying to tell me all along that we see eye to eye, and no, now I'm I'm conceding that I understand that. that. Yeah, like, dude, no, I never uh, said that, and no, we don't. Yeah, at all. But it's a, a manipulation <laughs> tactic to try to get Deacon to or to get you know uh, uh, think it was slightly his idea. yeah slightly less observant person, or slightly less sharp brother. person. It would work. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it. Uh, yeah, Lance. Um, Claire will be playing some Days Gone tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. and I will be playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla tomorrow evening. Fuck yeah! Run the camp. <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. Me oh, I love that I just laughs him there. off. Yeah. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's got to go. Deacon needs shaving. Yeah, because Ricky would never go. For <laughs> She's as soft as the old Mike man. And trusts you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Oh, it ain't gonna be mine. Oh yeah, uh, Jameson juice box. That's I think that's. Things to survive. Well, I don't. I don't mean to say it's the point of it, but it's. We can all relate. We have all. We all have a schizo. Known somebody like schizo. Yeah. Yeah. Better one old man than the entire camp. You think about that. Or, you know, just have a vote and, you know, see if he steps down peacefully, you know, with due process and everything or all that, you know, but whatever. That wouldn't suit Schizo, though. No, of course not. 
But Iron Mike would go for that. If it was the mm. will of the camp that Iron Mike stepped down and Deacon and or Schizo step up, then Iron Mike would concede to that. Right, right. The thing with Schizo is he doesn't want to be in the limelight, though, because he knows that's yeah. the, the the worst position to be in. Yeah. yeah. You don't Schizo, want to be the dictator because dictators get overthrown. Jesus, yeah. why would Iron Mike ever trust He wants that? Deacon to be the one in charge. Make him head of security. So that uh, Schizo has a, a layer of protection while still being second in command, you know, basically having uh, having the ear of the person in charge or that's Jesus, he thinks it's going to happen trust that asshole, let alone make him head <laughs> exactly. of security yeah, okay all right let's get back to camp oh well, sorry, joe camp, joe's mentioning to lance that the schedule our stream schedule Mike. is always available on discord Deke. or in the Deke. description Deke. of every video uh, and also on our channels Mike, as well, uh, we got on the About page, should be on there. there. Listen, Mike. But yeah, pretty much every day of the week, uh, right. we are streaming. Right. One of us, one or both of us. Bear. Yes, you know yes. Right? I'll take a look through the files Bear. Mike, you meet. listen to me. <laughs> Bear meat walking. Jesus, what now? You boys try and shoot your damn heads off again? Oh, Mike. Yeah. Uh, Nice. Remember, I told Ooh, you already. Where's he going? Schizo thinks I'm a pacifist. I'm gonna get us all killed. I know he's been talking. Mike. Deke, like I said, Schizo's got his issues, but it, <sighs> it, it's not like we don't got ours. Thanks for your concern. You wanna run but through I the links? Take care of myself. Mike out. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna let you do Jesus. the talking. All right. So the first link that we're putting up on the screen is... Buy me a coffee. Buymeacoffee.com slash Spawnicus Rex. Uh, this is where you can go if you want to support the channel. Um, you can either do a one-time contribution Boozer, or you can become a channel member. Memberships start at $1 a month. Uh, it goes up from there. There are various different levels, various perks and rewards that you get at each level. Uh, so yeah, go check it out. Buymeacoffee.com slash Spawnicus Rex. All the info is over there. And yeah, support your favorite streamer or second favorite, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next link is for Patreon. Uh, same thing as buy me a coffee. Uh, if you prefer Patreon, if that's like your, you know, platform of choice, whatever you want to call it, uh, patreon.com slash Bonicus Rex. Uh, you can do the same thing there. You can make a contribution. You can become a member. Um, buy me a coffee is better for Rex, but it's up to you. If you want to do Patreon, you have the option as well. Let's pop up the link for the merch. Hey, we got a job for you. There it is. Uh, Days Gone Podcast. Okay. Threadless. Dot com. Uh, so we have over there. We have several Days Gone inspired designs. Uh, there's a Doom inspired design. Uh, there's the official Spawnicus Rex merchandise. Lots of cool stuff. The truth set you free. We have a, a t-shirt that's uh, says, yeah. Not Today not Cope. Not Today Cope. Cope, 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 shut the hell up. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you want to get your Not Today Cope or your Big Deke Energy or your Drifter Arsenal or your Fuck Schizo shirt, we have a Fuck Schizo Word. shirt. Uh, it's actually, it's shirts, uh, long sleeve shirts, sweaters, um, what do we have? Stickers, pins, art prints, mugs, kids shirts, all sorts of stuff. Journals, <laughs> notebooks, lots of cool stuff. I'm wearing my Spawnicus Rex t-shirt right now. <laughs> he actually is. He actually is wearing a Spawnicus. It just came in the mail just today. today yep. yeah. Literally tore it out of the package, put it on my person. I'm wearing my shirt right now. Yep. It looks really cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and you have lots of different uh, styles, different colors you can choose from and it all ships internationally so wherever you are in the world you can wear your Spawnicus Rex shirt or your Days Gone shirt or your Doom shirt or all the or other all cool of stuff them. Yeah. or tote bags or stickers or pins or mugs or whatever <laughs> let's kill that link and then thank you for posting that link in the chat there Joe there's a link to the discord Yes, sir. if you want to come hang out on the discord it's kind of like the live chat but when we're not live and um, 
Oh, I need to do a shout out to my channel members. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got a new channel member. Oh, you did? I got a oh, new shit. member. I Check see this that shit name. out. Yeah, yeah. I see that name. Check it out. Here we go. Let me run through this real quick. These are the bad motherfuckers who have, to date, become members on my channel. Those awesome individuals are Captain Caffeine. Whoop. Basics of Pain. Yeah, yeah. Borislav 24 7. Fuck yeah. Sarah Monster. Woo woo. Floyd Rocker. Uh huh. James Guan. Yeah, yeah. Jay Stabby. Stab, stab. Catherine Jones. Cat the Great. Honey Okashe. Whoop, whoop. Obscured by Ink. Yeah, yeah. Anton G. Badass. W.D. Henderson. Motherfucking badass. Tom Moose. Yeah, yeah. Ahoy, ahoy. Moto. Yay. Dog Bone, mm -hmm. and most recently, Tom the Juice Box Jameson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Huzzah. I run out of like, sounds to make. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm like, uh, what am I doing now? I run uh, out of voices to do. I'm like, uh, <laughs> that's all I got, man. Yeah. Uh, you guys are awesome. Right. Seriously. Thank, thank you. Thank you, so, yeah. thank you so much for supporting the channel. For real. Um, it is greatly appreciated. Uh, so Rex, how do you always say it? It's like, so, it's... Uh, uh, you do it. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't remember the can, Let me see if I can uh, remember <laughs> what I normally say. Uh, it's one of those things where I don't know. It's it's not expected, but it's appreciated. You yeah. know, it, it's we don't we don't do it for the money. You know, we but do, the money is what makes it possible. Right. Yeah. We. That's it. So net, you're going to say it anyway. Well, I just remembered it. You were struggling. To, <laughs> you were struggling to remember it. I was working my way to it, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, for real. It it is. Yeah, she's exactly right. We yeah, see Cap knows. Yeah, we, yeah. we actually don't do it for the money. We don't do it for the money, but getting money from it is what makes it possible mm -hmm. for us to yeah. do this. Yeah. So it is greatly appreciated. Every single penny of support is greatly appreciated. Uh Lance wants to know how much the stickers are. Uh the stickers uh, are, are stupidly the prices are somewhat Boss, out of doing? our control. Um, the stickers are a little Probably bit on the expensive side. Right, I believe guys. they start at six dollars, um, and not all of the sure, designs are available right. as a sticker. Some of them didn't really work as a sticker, um, later, but uh, but yeah, you can you can go check it out. All the stuff is there. Daysgonepodcast.threadless.com. Uh, you can see all the designs and all the different um, kind of options hey, for how you can something? purchase those designs. Could I stop you, Blair? Could I? Lance says, no. for the love of gaming. Obscure by Ink says, hello, hello, everyone. Did you just join us, Obscure? Did, yeah, did you just, you just slide in? in? Did we miss saying hello to you earlier, or are you fresh in? Hey, there was something else that I How's needed to talk to Ricky. Buzz? We have a camp job we can pick up while we're here. Deke, there we go. God. Ricky, what's wrong? Is... Do you know a man named Joshua Harper? Harp? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know him. I never trusted this son of a bitch. He, uh, wrapped the black bandana around his head like he was pff, some goddamn hipster or something. You yeah. bet, Lance. Well, Thank you, bud. Are spot on. Oh, Obscured by Ink says fresh in. The okay. Over a card well, hello and, and welcome, oh, sir. Jesus, where is he now? A patrol spotted him heading south. They were too scared to even approach him. I guess he'd met up with a group of drifters. I really oh, I need your this help one. on this one. Okay. This is the one where they I always would. get attacked by freaks there. And mm. You can let the Thanks. freakers just run through the camp. But you've killed the horde already, probably. Oh, well, it's like a screamer spawn. Well, we don't have screamers in game yet, do we? If we, you kill the yeah. horde, you don't get the horde killing the, uh, the whole camp. Where's a torque wrench at? Right, right. Uh, but, for five minutes. Um, I guess man, if you... Would you stop screaming in my ear about a torque wrench? <laughs> if you go do the mission... You should do the so there's harp always, one first, because if you yeah. go do the mission with, with Boozer that's coming out, you'll get Screamers. But if you go do this one now before you get Screamers, you won't it'll get Screamers. It'll be Runners. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it'll be some other, it'll be the most elite, well, no, not the most elite freak, because it would be Breakers then, but it will be some sort of elite freaker. Uh, so we could do this one. I want to see you do the harp one. The harp one? Okay. But just be aware of the time you said yeah. you were getting tired. Yeah, so we will do that next week. But we will do that one first. Because I generally do camp jobs first before I do story missions. We have a question. Yeah? Uh, CJ says, Rex and Claire, if you take away the camp leaders, take them out of the equation, would you still say Lost Lake is your favorite camp? Nope. Or perhaps another? Well, you've never said Lost Lake. Yeah. It is the one camp that feels most like home, but that is not where I would stay. For me, it has always been and always will be 
the Fortress of Wizard Island. And you kind of say that discounting the colonel. Like, you've already removed him from the equation. Like, it's, right. it's not because of him or in spite of him or whatever. It's right. like, it's just the best place. Yeah, it, it, is the, it is the most tactically defensible position in the game. Mm. Uh, I, in, in a world where air support does not exist, that is the most defensible position in the game. Uh, which it, uh, they have the, uh, uh, the RPGs or whatever they are. So they could shoot down anything. Because mm -hmm. that's why Nero doesn't go there. Yeah, right. Uh, who right. was it who said recently that no one ever responds with Nero as being oh, a chosen yeah, camp? Yeah. Hey, who, the, who the fuck said that? That was a very good statement, a very, very good comment that was in one of our recent streams. Yeah, one of your recent streams, wasn't it? Yeah. I forget who said that. I feel terrible. I've forgotten who said that. Um, but that's a really good answer. Uh, CJ says Lost Lake is definitely home, but I think layout wise, Hot Springs might be my favorite. Hot Springs is a good, easily defendable position i still maintain i would rather be in uh one of the bunkers mm, mm -hmm. i mean honestly it's fucking bunker like just close <laughs> the fucking door and stay in there like, <laughs> they should be well stocked i don't know why they're not well stocked i know who's building all these bunkers around the place they're not stocking them up because lisa mentions her friend tommy's dad has a bunker that's well stocked with food and water and all that shit um, but she doesn't know where it is. I like to think that one of the ambush camps that we take out is that bunker. Is that bunker? <laughs> yeah. And like Tommy and his dad are like people, either people you kill as marauders, or um, they've been killed and had their camp taken over. Joe yeah. says O'Leary Mountain, please and thank you. Mm. Yeah, that's a good spot. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Cap, I think you're right, but uh, you, that sounds like something Tom would have said mm -hmm. <laughs> if he yeah. was there. Yeah, and there's gas at O'Leary Mountain. Yeah. <laughs> so there is that, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, hey, that's, I mean, honestly, that's about all I've got the energy for tonight. I'm here lately, man. I get around 930 at night. I'm I'm on old man time, dude. I'm fucking <laughs> tired. I'm fucking tired. You need me tired. to go get your slippers <laughs> and yeah. a blanket for your yeah. knees. Yeah, and, and a hot, a hot, a hot chocolate. Because my, my old achy joints. Are... Surely you should have like Ovaltine or something if you're an old man. <laughs> I can't even spell Ovaltine. Oh, you have the decoder ring. Oh, yeah, right. I'll spell it out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Lance says boom, boom time. Wink, wink. <laughs> uh, no comment. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, Claire, you're back tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. on my channel. 0800 Mountain Time. 0800 Mountain Time, indeed. Uh -huh. Yep, day's gone. Yep, yep. Motherfucking day's gone. Yeah, and then I'm back tomorrow, uh, 8 p.m. Mountain Time with some Assassin's Creed Valhalla for Thursday. Yeah. Uh, you, you mentioned earlier the new picture, right? That you did. We hung up. You mentioned it. I mentioned it. You didn't yeah. mention it. No. Oh, well, I'll show it on the stream tomorrow. Yeah. Everyone will be able to see it on camera. It's yeah. fucking cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. Love you guys. We're going to get the fuck out of here. Good night, folks. Good night, everyone. See y'all tomorrow.